Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the task host is stopping background task. So if you're going to be getting an error message that says that the application is shutting down and the task host is stopping background task, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to open up the start menu and type in regedit. Best man should say regedit. Just left click on that one time to open it up. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now in the registry editor, what we want to do is expand the H key local machine folder here, either by double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow next to it. Once you've done that, you want to go down and do the same thing for the system folder right here. Now you want to go down to get to current controller set right here, expand that. And you can also make this sidebar wider just by dragging on this little bar using the left mouse clicker, just holding it down and making this bar wider so we can see the menu a little bit better. So once you've gone underneath current control set, go underneath services and then go and find the WPN user service. So you're going to have to scroll down for a little bit here. Right here. So once you've selected the WPN user service, you want to go over to the right side here and you want to locate the start entry. So left click on the start key right here. So what I'm hovering over. For value data, you want to change this to four. So just delete it and then override it with four and then click OK. Now before you do any of this, I would suggest you create a backup of your registry. So if you guys are unfamiliar how to do that, just would go up to the file tab at the top, left click on it one time. And you can left click on export. You would save it somewhere you could find it. So let's say on your desktop. And then you just can go, if you ever needed to go back after you went through it, you can do file import and then just find that registry key right here. So pretty straightforward. So again, it's pretty obvious what we did here. I just like to put that little disclaimer in there that I always suggest whenever you're working in the registry editor that you do make a backup. But you can see what we've done. You can always just reverse it back to whatever was originally in here. So instead of it being a four, maybe it was a two like it was in my case. So hopefully that should resolve your issue, guys. I do hope this tutorial was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.